The Institute of Travel Health is a primary goal of delivering high quality, fundamental, strategic and applied research into a number of diseases which are either resident in the UK or present a threat to the UK. The Institute employs just under 400 staff and, and our annual running budget is around £30 million. The Institute has a number of large-scale projects and uh, many of these revolve around improved diagnosis of major pathogens and the development of uh, new or better vaccines against uh, these livestock diseases. The biggest current success, I guess, would be our provision of scientific data to a number of stakeholder groups and working with those stakeholder groups, who include DEFRA and uh, the National Farmers Union, to ensure that the UK remained completely free of blue tongue virus during 2008 and the saving to the UK was uh, measurable in terms of hundreds of millions of pounds. Blue tongue virus first arrived here in 2007 and that was the first occasion that blue tongue virus had ever been in this country and indeed it was part of an outbreak which was the first time that blue tongue virus had ever been in Northern Europe and in predicting the arrival of blue tongue virus in Northern Europe and in the UK and in getting rid of blue tongue virus once it was here is an area of work that we at the Institute of Animal Health have been much involved with. We're the uh, national, the European Union and the OIE World Reference Laboratory for Blue Tongue. So we're very much at the forefront of Blue Tongue research throughout the world. Uh, one of the main things we do here is we carry out all the testing for the farmers. Um, so any time an animal is tested once it's come into the country, after it's come from an area where Blue Tongue has been circulated, we will be testing that animal. Any animal that's going abroad, we will be testing it. Any animal that's showing clinical signs of blue tongue, we will be confirming exactly whether it's blue tongue and then we will be, we will be confirming exactly what serotype it is. In sheep, blue tongue virus causes a severe disease. It causes severe swelling and also hemorrhaging and also causes mortality up to about 50 or 60 percent. The work carried out here at the Institute for Animal Health and Blue Tongue Virus has had a direct and massive impact upon the UK economy. It's been estimated that the work carried out in 2008 alone saved £500 million and 10,000 jobs. Controlling a disease today does not guarantee control tomorrow, and climate change is predicted to bring more pests and diseases to the UK. A £100 million investment in new laboratories will therefore form the UK's front line against emerging threats and old enemies. Global warming is becoming more of an issue and that means that a number of other diseases are also likely to extend into regions which they were previously not present because the increase in temperature affects the insects which transmit these diseases. There are a number of other diseases that midge transmits. One of the most severe is African horse sickness. This, as its name implies, is an African disease, but it's showing increasing activity in Africa, and it has a track record of previously invading Europe. It kills approximately 80% of horses that it infects. That will be cataclysmic to the equine industry in the UK. I think the Institute of Animal Health fills a really important gap in the scientific capability of the UK. And it fills that gap because there are areas of science which are just too big and too difficult for the commercial sector to engage with. One of the, the past successes has been the development of a unique vaccine against a major poultry parasitic disease called coccidiosis. And that vaccine, which has now been introduced and used for 20 years, is now the biggest selling vaccine of its type anywhere in the world. The work of the Institute for Animal Health, I think, is undoubtedly recognised internationally as being uh, incredibly strong and uh, important. Uh, we worked with a number of stakeholders again to eliminate rinderpest on the planet, uh, which should be formally acknowledged in 2010. Rinderpest is a, a virus that causes a disease called cattle plague and has killed millions and millions of animals across the world. And at the Institute for Animal Health, we have taken a lead role in carrying out this eradication of this virus. Recently, there have only been certain areas of the world where it's been confined to, but since 2001, there have been no cases of rinderpest, so we we're pretty sure that this virus has been eradicated. At the moment, smallpox is the only virus that's been eradicated, but hopefully rinderpest will be the second.